What's up guys, Dan here. Today's an epic day. It is the new Epcot. We have all kinds of wonderful new things to look at, and yet no one. My bad. You're good, boss. I'm just a, I'm just a silly man on the internet. You know, people can walk in front of me. I'm humble. That guy's got places to be. I, try, I thought I picked a good spot, a good out of the way spot, but I guess not. It's a momentous day here at Epcot. It's finally done. It's been six years, but all of the renovations are complete. The asbestos is gone, at least most of it, and uh, it's now time to celebrate. Mickey and Friends Meet and Greet has a new space. Praise be to Sweet Baby Broadway Jesus for an air-conditioned building. And there's a Communicore Hall that's open now. Uh, and a stage for a new Encanto show. So we're gonna check that out, as well as meet Mickey and friends. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's, I'm hyped and I'm hot. I'm already sweating, drenched in sweat. It's not been, I haven't been here but 15 minutes. Good Lord. All right. You're good, Emily. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> Mickey and Friends is officially open. Inside, you'll find three themed meet and greet spaces with three random Mickey and Friend characters. No longer are they in the hot, sunny, you know, outdoor uh, front of Spaceship Earth. Now they are indoors. Do you remember the good old days when these buildings used to have indoor air-conditioned meet and greet space? Well, it's back. So let's go inside Mickey and Friends and let's see what's in there. Let's see what characters we meet. Let's see what kind of, uh, trouble we can get into. Mickey! Hey man, check out your new house! It's beautiful! Did you paint all this? You did? I know you did. You're the artist. You're the mastermind behind it all. I know it. And who's this? Is this your butler? You have a, you have a guy just here vacuuming all the time for you. That's nice. That's, I wish I had. I, I have a Roomba at home, so I guess it's kind of like that. <laughs> Mickey, can we get a picture? Daisy Duck, I, I, you, I, I'm speechless. Royalty, sure, Mickey and Minnie are here. Thank you, Abby, thank you so much. Mickey and Minnie are here, but the real boss, the real, real boss is right here. <laughs> Daisy, this is really beautiful. And I like how you picked the right background, right? I, you went right to it, you're like, yeah, I already accessorized the background. It's great. You're so gorgeous, look at you. You are the moment. <laughs> you just are just, everything is just so dramatic with Daisy. It's my favorite. Can we get a picture, Daisy? Are there? Oh my gosh, there are. Hidden, hidden Mickey's. Minnie, there she is. There she is, Minnie, the queen. Minnie, this background is really great. Did you paint this? I'm asking everyone if they paint. I don't have any other bits. I came in here so unprepared. I thought there'd be a bigger line, but I got here early. I'm a YouTuber. I sleep in usually. So. <laughs> well, Minnie, you're fabulous. I love it. I'm so excited to be in this new space. Look, it's Figment. Minnie, you picked a good spot next to Figment. Good spot, Minnie. Good spot. Good spot. Can we get a picture? You like you like the fit? Nice, thank you, Minnie, thank you. I know it's Mickey, but you know, I can't be wearing mini shirts. People look at me weird. So <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, that was super fun. I loved meeting Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy. The meet and greet space is great, it's tight. It's really efficiently designed. There's two little portals in the middle of the wall, allowing characters to hop in and out super quick and easy. Um, I love it, I dig it. And um, it's nice and air conditioned in here. The air conditioning in these buildings work. And when it is a hundred degrees out, which is gonna be today, I need that. I need some air conditioning. And so to have like a little, let's go hang out, uh, you know, in a big old tall Epcot building and meet Mickey and Minnie, uh, I love it. I think it's great. I welcome it back. Welcome back, character meet and greet, Mickey and friends at Epcot. We missed you. This area is so nice. Like, 
more gathering space is always welcomed. And I'm sure this will be event-based galore. This just feels like a flexible event space, honestly. So we do get new bathrooms here at this new Communicore Hall, uh, but they're right outside of the Encanto sing-along song. So, you know, expect those to be pure chaos 24-7, uh, full of the laughter and screams of children. Uh, I will still be exclusively peeing and pooping in the Imagination Pavilion. I don't know why I said pavilion. All right, let's get into Communicore Hall. Let's see what's in there, because I'm curious. This place doesn't come to live for another hour or two. The first show's at 9.45, uh, so we'll check out the Encanto sing-along in a minute, but let's get into Communicore Hall. Let's check it out. Okay, my first and immediate impressions of Communicore Hall is that it is literally that. It is a hall. It is a hallway. It is, it is, a, there is, it is a hall in that there are doors on both sides and doors in the middle, and that doth make a hall, a hallway. Uh, but it's it's air conditioned. It's so cold in here. It's crisp. I love it. And early in the morning, when there's no fans and kids in here running amok, it's nice and quiet and peaceful. You know, great place to drink your coffee or tap away at your computer if you are one of those like Epcot workers. Uh, but the thing I love the most about this so far is that it, it's almost like a spiritual successor to the Rainbow Tunnel. It's very Rainbow Tunnel in here, guys like very rainbow tunnel like uh like like we might move the figment meet and greet in here one day rainbow tunnel and i dig that i really dig that and all the banners here uh representing all the different uh, pavilions i don't know guys i like it i like it in here i like it in here i also have i mentioned that it's air conditioned all right if i understand correctly during the day this is an encanto show back here it's a sing-along there's a screen go through a bunch of the encanto numbers uh with two like random encanto folk and then mirabelle and bruno come out and we all sing together what's up adam uh and uh then we uh we just i'm talking about the, are you gonna hang out for the encanto show oh, yeah. well look at this shirt man i got the red shirt is on can you see it with the shadow there yeah there we go. Look at it. Oh, there we go. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> I like this. This is great, isn't it? It's quiet. It reminds me of the Rainbow Tunnel. Okay. It, yeah. it has Rainbow okay. Rainbow Tunnel vibes, you know, yeah, which I love. Bring back the Rainbow Tunnel. I, have, you, I, I have a feeling it's still up there. It's definitely still up yeah, there. Just, just remove the There's light. a light switch. Just flick it. Just That's flick it. the switch, man. <laughs> I'm realizing now that I've been here for two iconic Epcot character openings. I was here for the opening day of Figment, and I'm now here for the opening day of Encanto and Mickey and Friends, and the air-conditioned hallway. And uh, it is a, a great day. It's a great day to be um, a, a fan of Epcot. Epcot's finally done. We did it. All right, while we wait for Encanto to start, They've got this weird elemental show going on over here. I gotta show you guys this thing if you haven't seen it yet. This right here is exactly what Walt was talking about when he was thinking about Epcot. The crazed, the crazed dreams of a madman dying grasping about wanting a perfect utopia we got it baby ladies the show was great can we just get like a group like a group shot yeah fill in the space yeah you guys are great keep up cut weird you guys are amazing i can do some of those moves but not most of them <laughs> thanks guys I can do some of those moves though. You, I won't, you have to guess which ones though. <laughs> Festival Favorites hasn't opened yet, but I know it's gonna open because the frosty slush slushy machines are on. Every time I turn around, there's more seating. There's more tables. There's more places to snack. I'm like, I'm actually really loving this addition guys. While all these shrubberies are only mid-sized right now, give it a few years, and this will be the shadiest spot in town. Um, I love how lush and green it is. 
it's really nice. It's really nice. I dig it. For a theme park that just did us so dirty with the Morocco tiles, I gotta point out the tiles, the tile work they did here because it's really cool. Let's take a look at this tile work. I love it. It's all grouted real ceramic tile. I dig it, it's beautiful. I love the pattern. This would make such a cool kitchen backsplash, this geodesics pattern. I think it's really neat. I can't get over these lights. They're so cool. They're like little sections of Spaceship Earth, but they look cool at night lit up. But you know where I'll be at night? Not here. So we'll never know what they look like lit up. We're now literally minutes away from the new Encanto sing-along. Behind me on this very stage, we will be shaking and grooving. And also, I just wanted to come over here to touch this tile. I can't get over this tile. Coming soon to my bathroom. It's all right, that guy just, he didn't, he doesn't, he didn't know that we're making art here. So he just walked in front of the camera. But we are, we're making art. I'm just playing a fun game of finding the, the hottest places to stand. <laughs> I'm in the background of so many people's B-roll as they're trying to get pictures of the stage. Wait, is it, oh, hola, hola, everybody, welcome! You didn't do it. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. It's like Zumba. The new Encanto show is really cute. It's really cool. 
it's definitely a family show. It's definitely a kid's show, but I love that it's bilingual. The, uh, the trivia is in English and Spanish. Uh, some of the songs are in another language. I think it's really great. I think that uh, it's a really an amazing addition to the park. Uh, and then that stage at night turns into like a nighttime, like adult, like Latin, like hangout club, which I think is really cool. The, f the thing about the Encanto show is at first they don't let you stand in front of the stage. Like they keep the area open so that you have, so they have plenty of room to like play around. If you've got young kids and they're fans of Encanto, get them there, get them like on the edge of the grass towards the center because halfway through the show, they move the crowd forward to the front of the stage for like a dance party. Uh, there's a conga line at the end that Bruno and Mirabelle kind of like start and uh, move through the crowds and then they disappear, they're gone. Like by the end of the show, like they vanish, which is so smart for them to conga line their, their way into just a big snake of guests and then they just disappear into the crowd and, uh, uh, it's it's super fun. The ensemble is really great. The two hosts are super funny. The show is really, really cute. I liked it a lot. Uh, and, um, you know, the music is also super great. I guess Lin-Manuel Miranda was here working on the show. I don't know if the show... I don't, I don't understand that. Like, what did Lin-Manuel Miranda need to come to Epcot to work on this show for? Not 100% sure. But um, overall, Dan gives it a thumbs up. If there's a new costume character, I'm going to be there. Congratulations, Epcot. Congratulations on finally being complete. Like this great sphere, you are now whole. 360 degrees all the way around. Everyone's walking in front of my camera today. I guess I'm picking the worst locations to set the camera. That's on me. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks, patrons. Thanks to... Thanks to everybody who uh, followed along. And thank you, Spaceship Earth. And thank you, Phoenicians. Let me know in the comments if you plan to come to Epcot ever. And uh, I had a great time. The new area over there is great. Mickey and friends already had a huge line, an hour wait just to meet them. Uh, but at least there's some shade. New murals. New sing-alongs, new things, new people to walk in front of my camera. Looking for the exit? It's not here. It's over there. Please do not exit in front of the YouTuber. Please exit this direction. Hola, mi amigos. I just saw uh, Enca uh, the Encanto sing-along. It was great. I sang along, I danced along, and now to congratulate Mirabelle on her incredible debut performance, I've come to 1900 Fair at the Grand Floridian. And she's right behind me now. Mirabelle! Hola! I just saw your show! Did you like it? I loved it! I, I sang I along. Ay, 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 ay. Mirabelle was incredibly impressive, guys, and yes, yes. there's a piece of casita there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isabella, she just walked by one day and she said, flowers, and everything grew. How That's incredible. That? I don't know. I've been trying to learn how to do it myself. But I just go to a garden to store and I buy flowers. You just go buy flowers? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. I don't have the connections like you. It's like, I need flowers quick. Someone's performing. Oh. Well, you know? Next Oh, I didn't even think about throwing flowers. I know. You have enough flowers. You, never you don't need more flowers, flowers. in your life. Are you kidding me? We can always use more flowers. No, no. There's enough around your house. Have you seen Isabella's room? Uh, yeah, she's got plenty. Is all I'm she's, saying. She's even got a sling made out of flowers in there. Yes. I know. You can do that in your casita. The interior decorating is like on point. Well, yes. Casita does most of it by itself. Well, I just loved your show. That's You're incredible. You. Your conga line at the end was fantastic. I know. Did you see when everyone was walking under it? Yeah, it was good. It I was really Bruno good. Tio Bruno is, he's an unwell individual. He just is, not like in, like, he's just always very nervous. Oh. He's very skittish. He was behind the walls for a long time. I know. I was thinking about, I've not been able to stop thinking about it, how he's just been in those walls. Yeah, it's okay. He lives with us. How did he eat? That's a good question. I think he was just, <laughs> I think he was just sneaking my, my mom. 
Yeah, your mom knew. She was feeding him the whole time. Moms are like that. I'm sure the rats were helping too. They always like to scour for food everywhere. I was I, that was one of the theories I had today was that the rats clearly got him food at times. Exactly. You know. Because he could speak to them. Mirabelle, thank you so much. Of course, I'm you're just incre you're incredible. Can we give like a thumbs up? 